Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread, November 29th. There will be no future probation. We know not the hour of the Master's appearing. Yet signs all foretell that the moment is nearing. When he shall return, tis the promise most cheering. But we know not the hour he will come. Let us watch and be ready. He will come. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He will come in the clouds of his Father's bright glory. But we know not the hour. No future probation. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. Revelation chapter 20 verse 12. Solemn will be the day of final decision. In prophetic vision, the apostle John describes it. I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. Revelation chapter 20, verses 11 and 12. Sad will be the retrospect in that day, when men stand face to face with eternity. The whole life will present itself just as it has been. The world's pleasures, riches, and honors will not then seem so important. Men will then see that the righteousness they despised is alone of value. They will see that they have fashioned their characters under the deceptive allurements of Satan. The garments they have chosen are the badge of their allegiance to their first great apostate. Then they will see the results of their choice. They will have a knowledge of what it means to transgress the commandments of God. There will be no future probation in which to prepare for eternity. It is in this life that we are to put on the robe of Christ's righteousness. This is our only opportunity to form characters for the home which Christ has made ready for those who obey his commandments. This passage was taken from Christ's Object Lessons, pages 318 and 319. Our Daily Bread, November 29th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.